Thank you very much for staying with us and welcome back. Now, during the war, Pakistan captured many Bengali intellectuals. They abducted army personnel, government and non-government employees, freedom fighters and freedom-loving civilians of Bangladesh. Those kidnapped were brutally tortured and killed. At the time of the war, Pakistani forces chose at least 8,000 secluded places across the country for silent killings and even massacres. These places of torment later came to be known as Badiobumi. Wion's Bangladesh correspondent, Lakmina Jasmine Soma, visited some of these historically significant places. Take a look. It is a broken wall, a symbol of thousands of dreams being broken. Fifty years ago, a group of people dreamt of establishing an independent country. Many did not live long enough to see their dream of independence fulfilled. They were brutally killed by the Pakistani army in 1971, while fighting for the freedom of their nation. This memorial, located in Dhaka's Rare Bazaar, takes visitors back to the horrors inflicted by the Pakistan army on people of what was then East Pakistan. This broken wall is made in their memory. The black granite pillar is a symbol of mourning, rising at the spot where their bodies were dumped. A window has been placed on one side of the wall, which allows a person to gaze at the open skies of independent Bangladesh and realize the value of freedom. The memorial as it stands today bore a very different appearance 50 years ago. In December 1971, this area was a secluded corner of Dhaka, known only to those associated with brick making. The location was perfect for the Pakistani army to torture and kill dissenters. The site was discovered after the Pakistan army surrendered to the Indo-Bangladesh allies on the 16th of December 1971. Lieutenant General M. Haroon Ar Rashid, the former chief of Bangladesh army and a freedom fighter, talks about the cruel and traumatic Rair Bazaar massacre. They killed them brutally and most of the bodies were thrown in this particular field. So this was a brick field at that time and population was not that thick as it is now. So that was thinly populated area and outside the uh, Dhaka city in a brick field. So this was discovered after the surrender of 16th December. 1971, because at that time, people who lost their dear ones, they were searching, where had they gone? And finally they found them here. Most of the bodies were mutilated, very few could find it was, but other bodies were mutilated. That means the killing had continued for quite some time, and they have thrown the body here. The blueprint of killing the cream of the crop of soon-to-be Bangladesh was nothing but a desperate attempt by the Pakistani army. Though during nine months of war they killed many intellectuals, the mass killing started from 11 December and even continued after December 16. The Pakistan army was defeated in 1971 after the Indian forces participated in Bangladesh's war of liberation. With India entering the war, Pakistan understood that Bangladesh's independence was certain. Even as it suffered one military setback after the other, the Pakistan army unleashed genocidal violence targeting intellectuals. With an aim that even if Bangladesh became independent, it would struggle to find leadership to lead it onto the path of prosperity. After the 3rd December, the occupation forces and their also cohorts, Razakar, Al Badr, Al Shams, particularly Al Badr, they were tasked to eliminate the intellectuals, the top brains of the country, being Bengalis. So they knew all the professors all the teachers, 
all the prominent doctors all the prominent engineers all the prominent journalists so all top notch people were picked up by al badr and brutally killed the occupation forces wanted to eliminate the brains of the country so that the country cannot run even if we become independent so that was the main aim why they killed the intellectuals they are only cry was they were the brains of the nation and almost 3 decades later after the liberation war another such site was discovered on the other side of the capital in mirpur the mirpur murder site was discovered in 1999 as an abandoned pump house the place is now known as the jalat khana in bangla which means a slaughter house days before surrendering and conceding defeat the pakistani forces and their allies were killing people and throwing the bodies into the deep well at this site now when the place was discovered 30 years after the gruesome murders officials exhumed several bodies which included women and children as well the sheer imagery of what had transpired here is enough to send shivers down the visitor's spines even today in 1971 many places at mirpur were turned into killing site this is such a place popularly known as jallat khana this place was chosen by pakistan army and their local collaborators as an ideal killing site Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.